All right, guys, this is Chris with Kingship Tech, and this is Camera Talk. All right, so we're starting a new topic on this channel. It'll be a regular topic, and we're going to call it Camera Talk. It's just as it sounds. We are going to talk about cameras. And today's topic is going to be the Canon EOS RP. Alright guys, so welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. This is a channel all about tech gear for the amateur user. And so today, like I said, is going to be camera talk all about the Canon RP. So I've owned this since this camera since the middle of September. So it's going on three months that I have owned this camera. And so the more I use it, the more I get to know it and I get to know things that I like and things that I don't like about this camera. But let's just go over one of the main topics I want to talk about in today's video is going to be the ergonomics of this camera. You might think that it might not be a whole lot to talk about when it comes to the ergonomics of this camera here, but I assure you there's a lot to it and let me explain. Now I've owned a few cameras in the past. I've started out with Sony cameras. The Sony a6000 was my first one uh, and it is a very small camera, probably one of the smallest out there on the market today, primarily because it doesn't have the, the EVF isn't on top, it's to the side, and so it's just a, basically a box, very tiny. And then I moved on from that, I went to the Canon M50, I've had the Canon M6, I've had the ADD, which I'm shooting on right now, and the RP right here, and uh, I've owned a few cameras in ergonomics, I've been able to feel what they feel like and what I like and don't like. The Canon RP, I will tell you, is pretty outstanding when it comes to ergonomics and how it feels. The camera has this really nice deep grip. Um, it's, it's in comparison to the ADD, uh, it's definitely like a deep grip and instead of where the ADD is a thick camera, where like it's a DSLR, so it has to be thick because of the mirror. But because this is mirrorless, it's really thin, really thin. And so the grip is real deep, you can see right here. When you hold it in your hand, it just feels really good. I, I mean, I really like holding this camera and uh, it's hard to explain, but if you haven't felt or held this camera, this is where it starts, is in the grip and how it feels. That's where cameras start. That's where you're gonna be holding it all the time. And so I will be honest, this this is one of the best cameras I've felt ergonomically, all right? Now I have relatively smaller hands and uh, this fits probably perfectly in my hands. Uh, but if you have large hands, you can get this grip extension right here. It just is a really basic, oh, let's get it focused. All right, so it's a basic grip extension and uh, it, it makes it really nice. It gives you that pinky extension for the camera. Um, and I actually used that the entire time I've, at, I've owned this camera until now when I took it off to basically do this video to show you um, how just how small it is. And I'm going to go ahead and put, show you the, uh, the comparison between the RP and the ADD, the size comparison and you'll see that it is pretty, a lot smaller than the ADD in size. It's really not much bigger than the Canon M50. Uh, and, and that's probably what the biggest seller for this camera is because it's small, it's very ergonomic, and, and it has more buttons, more dials to be a little bit more pro in how you can take videos and pictures. If, you're, if we're talking ergonomics, I feel like it's so valuable because it's going to literally inspire you to pick up your camera more. Like if it's comfortable in your hand, that means you're gonna be willing to carry it around with you. And uh, if it's uncomfortable, I mean, honestly, you're gonna pick it up 
because you have to and not because you want to and you're gonna take pictures or take videos uh, and and I, I, I just think it plays for myself this is me personally it takes it plays a huge role in my camera experience because if I feel it in my hand it makes me want to pick it up more it makes me want to take more pictures and so if you're anything like me which I feel like that's not uncommon if it has to feel good in your hand um, I then you're going to end up picking it up more. It's going to inspire you to do more things. And I'm sure you've probably heard it said before as well, like some people don't even like small cameras. They like bigger cameras because it just feels right. It feel it doesn't feel like a toy. It feels like it's supposed to, like like a tool, like a professional almost. And, and that's kind of silly. It's silly to think that you want something to feel more professional in your hands, but it's legitimately true. If you feel, uh, if it feels more professional, you're just going to be inspired to take more pictures. Let's put it that way. And that's kind of how I felt with this camera from the very beginning. Uh, like uh, when, as soon as I held it in the store, I was like, wow, this, this feels really good in the hand. You, and, and that's where I was willing to make the jump towards it. So let's go on to some of the buttons as well and where they're located on this camera. Um, so you have this, the, the shutter button, obviously in the right spot. You have a dial here so that I use it to control um, the shutter speed. And then you have a thumb dial right here. Oh, if it can focus, there you go. Thumb dial right here, and I use that to control my aperture. And then uh, there's a tiny button right here. This tiny button right here allows you to switch between really several settings on the fly. So I can pick that and I will, I will be able to scroll to ISO, go to the uh, shooting mode, whether I'm gonna go into like high speed shooting, a timed mode, I can go to one, a servo or one shot for focusing, white balance and my um, exposure if I wanna go minus or plus and my exposure, all from this dial and it's super quick to do. Um, and then right at my thumb, I can easily reach up and switch between the, the dials here, the programs, whether it be for custom shooting modes or for video modes. And then um, I have a autofocus on, I have uh, uh, some custom, see all these buttons on the back side here, they're all customized. You can make them how you know whatever you want in the settings if you need them for if, like whatever you whatever you need menu button over here, but because the camera is still really small, then it's reachable. Everything is easily reachable, and like I said, I don't have the large hands. I don't have large hands, and so it makes it really easy for me to to reach everything. Now, there's one thing I do miss or wish that it had. Like the ADD is definitely more of a pro featured camera it has a lot more buttons on than just the RP does and it also has the scrolly wheel which I think every camera should have a scrolly wheel right there so instead this has just the standard like arrow button wheel on it and I I miss having a scrolly wheel right there even Sony had a scrolly wheel right there the Canon M6 and the M6 Mark II the Canon M5 those cameras had scrolls scrolly wheels on it and that was nice to have. The ergonomics of this thing really make it comfortable. They make it a joy to carry on with you. The size that it is still small and compact means you're still going to take it with you places where I know I may might not want to take the ADD because it's very large. It's a thicker it's a thicker camera like it's harder to get my my hands around the camera as this is really really easy to do. Um, so I just think that ergonomically speaking, this camera really shines. It's You're gonna want to take it places and it's gonna be with you all the time. And that just means you're gonna be, you're gonna have more chances and opportunities to be creative, to take more pictures, to take more videos. And it, it's just going to inspire you to be a better photographer or a better filmmaker, whatever you choose to do with your camera. But I just wanted to share that camera talk session with you. Uh, all about this camera ergonomically speaking and it really really is awesome now compared to maybe even the EOS R it's a bit bigger um, it 
I've heard really good things and actually I've held that as well and because it's a mirrorless system again it's not as thick uh, in the grip here than a DSLR would be that's it guys I'm out of time but uh, yeah thanks for watching this I hope you enjoyed some of that or all of it or give it a like don't forget to follow me on Instagram, subscribe to the channel, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.